NRL news with the professor and Barney. That's it. Soak it up, boys. What a uh, So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I yeah. yeah. You're, you guys, oh, we're ready. You're ready. ready. We're ready. All right. This is exciting. So we got a lot of feedback from last week. Mm. Yeah, as everybody knows, uh, the Ernest Years Part One, the story of you guys being real rugby league analysts. Yep. Uh, but there are some people that missed it. So we thought tonight, Maddie, we could just start with a little recap piece. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Last week on the Ernest Years. Maddie Johns made a promise. One thing I'm not going to do anymore, I'm not going to mix oil and water, so the rugby league programs will be rugby league programs. And straight away he was delivering on it with bold statements. <laughs> ben Barber's, he's terrific, isn't he? He's a really nice guy. Lovely boy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Wise assessments. All of a sudden, we only took one supporter in Nathan Sentler to come along and it's just transformed. The club's been incredible. <laughs> and an in-depth look at rugby league from every angle. Just, we just caught a flash of that there. Let's just go back. Look at that. If they're not the best set of hackers you've ever seen, Gordon, if, if you've got a set of balls like that, why don't you just show them on the screen? Mm, hard hitting stuff. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that at all. No. Uh, you didn't watch last week? No, no, I didn't watch this last well, week. Well, there's been a lot of anticipation, so without any further ado, please enjoy the Ernest Years Part 2. <laughs> This week on The Ernest Years, we begin with the revolution in sports television. Fox Sports paired their two greatest minds for their brand new flagship show. Right here at Fox Sports headquarters, I'm Matt Shervington, and joining me on the Super Saturday desk is Brian Fletcher. He's played 180 first grade games for the Roosters and the Rabbitohs. Finally, the footy has begun. Thanks, Sherva. Yeah, how, how good's it been the last two games? Been unreal. Can't wait for these uh, next two. Yeah, definitely. Well, you Fletch <laughs> took to it like a duck to water. He hit the on the left, but Matty Bowen likes getting to first receiver. That's probably why he takes the line on and you get, sometimes he gets caught and has to play the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Fox's game coverage was also boosted with the inclusion of a gun sideline reporter. Craig Bell and his words were, uh, let's, we're only 12 points behind. Uh, nothing to fear. Let's just get to our, set, get to our sets and get to his kick. Uh, it was as simple as that. Matty had a brand new show and a new sidekick, who the camera guy thought was the real star. There's a new show Monday night. Yeah, that's right, Gordon. Join us after the game for NRL Extra. Gordy wasted no time establishing himself as the show's comic relief. Yeah, Steve Price. What happened to Steve Price's chin? Where'd that go? <laughs> well, if he's a pelican, I think Stephen Price is just a little seagull in here. Mate, right. just that's like he hated. That wasn't funny, was but... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on Super Saturday, Fletch had a brand new segment. Yeah, Fletch's focus. So I prefer the first. Sorry, so Fletcher's focus. focus. Okay. Uh, I preferred the first name, the original name, Brian's Bits, which I thought was probably more appropriate. <laughs> this is never going to fly because we're not going to go and look at Brian's bits. We're going to look at Fletcher's focus coming up very soon. Fletcher's groundbreaking segment involved him reading players' statistics from a sheet of paper. Focus. Go for it, mate. Yes, it's all well, yours. yeah. Today we're looking at. Tonight we're looking at Sonny Bill Williams and Ryan Hoffman. Uh, both played similar sort of games, 10, and, uh, 10 games for Ryan Hoffman and 9. Got a couple of glaring statistics here with the offloads. Sonny Bill's had 24 offloads compared to Ryan Hoffman's 3, but the line break assists. Sonny Bill's on 9, Ryan Hoffman's on 0. <laughs> <laughs> Fletch, that was a, a great segment. We look forward to that next week. Inspired by that, Maddie launched a new, entirely rugby league focused segment. Look, how will you watch your NRL? Uh, there's this fella got his hand on his old fella, hands down the pants style. We'd all do that, don't we? When we're sitting at home and no one's around, what? Guess? No, no. Really? <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah, anyway, we're going to take a break. We'll be back more. <laughs> <laughs> Fans loved the chemistry between Maddie and Gaz, but it had nothing on the chemistry between Fletch and Sherva. How did you come up with that statistic? That's what I want to know. I, I just had a look at his career metres and he, okay. he covered the ground, the distance required to surpass 15,000. Is that only in the metres. football field or is that like walking, <laughs> shopping and stuff as well? Yeah. OK, what about the Knights? Well, they, they took the win on it. Heidi had been moved from the sideline to the commentary box, where his attention to detail was second to none. Yep, through the 5-8, out the back to the fullback, then a hit in the hole. Gets it down, try. Matty continued to honour his promise of a strict rugby league focus by grilling rugby league's greatest mind. Monday nights at Panthers, Reactor nightclub still open or you still got it there? 
<laughs> no, Matty. No. It's a shame. I was going to knock off early. Let's get a moocher for a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Gus, good luck for the rest I'll, of the year. I'll tell you the right night to come out, mate. You'll, you and me. You'll Fantastic. Right. Good on you, mate. Okay. Boil the night, no doubt. Thanks, Gus. <laughs> Appreciate that. Now, uh, back on Super Saturday, Fletch was giving his fans an insight into his home life. I got vomited on. Yeah, I was stuck in a lift. I dislocated my three-year-old daughter's elbow. <laughs> yeah, I got accosted by a uh, peloton of cyclists in Centennial Park. Outstanding. Seven days on a boat with 14 men. Beautiful. <laughs> Off the back of his commentary success, Heidi was called into Super Saturday to cover the big news. As I said, the whole process has fallen down and failed and given no one confidence as far as there's no black and white in this, it's even grey, it's, it's almost like a, a video ref ruling. <laughs> Going forward, uh, and the NRL, have, have, uh, along with the Integrity Unit, made a number. After proving their worth as Fox Sports' top two analysts on June 1st, 2013, broadcasting history was made when, for the very first time, Fletch and Hindy appeared on Fox Sports together and commenced to argue like an old married couple. I think it's fair enough, though. Those, those wingers have just had about didn't help him. What are the wingers supposed to do? Just get behind him but and you help don't him. Yeah. Get mouth off. Do you ever get mouth off if you got picked up and dumped by someone? I always used to do it. You? <laughs> Please. You, you didn't think he was going to kick it either, did you? No, I always knew he was going to do it. You didn't. No, good. But, um, <laughs> yeah, 16 men. Well, well, possibly, yes. Yeah. 7-0 down, we're going to go with 16 men. OK, well, let, well, that, let, that's, well, that's the decision you've gone with. And let's support that decision. I support Jeez, it. You guys, you guys are going to end up in a fist fight this afternoon. No, no, let's, we, let's touch on... No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we should always remember, before there was Fletch and Hindy, there was Maddie and Gordy. Nice champion girl, too. Yeah. Champion too good lady. for Scotty, I reckon. Way, way too, way too good. good. I've <laughs> told her a few times, but yeah. she won't listen. That's love Loves for you. Loves the black Russian. It <laughs> is. It's amazing. What? What's that, really? <laughs> yeah, she loves the black Russians. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, boys, Raiders 24 over the Roosters 20. Oh, oh my God. Uh, That's wow. Oh, that is gold. Goal, that is gold. Now, oh. I have something oh. I would like to just bring up. Um, okay. Now, this, not, not this, I'll put this down. So, James, um, I mean, you've had, um, you've been now here at Fox yeah. for a few years. Yeah. So, we've been working on our own oh. sort of thing. So, <laughs> this is our first part. This is our first part. If we could just have a look at, uh, not the earnest years, I just played the, 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 the crap years. This is uh, <laughs> a little bit of James Rodgers. Can we go one more time? So, everybody. <laughs> if they. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh my God, I'm off my face. <laughs> all right, that's. that's okay. I, all right. Can I do, do you want me to do that again? Time for a quick break. It's time for a quick break after... Time for a quick break afterwards. Trent Merrin... Oh, f*** it. <laughs> time for a quick break. Oh. Stick around right after it. Special guest, the Mount Star... F*** it. That's part one. I won't say part two. Okay. Parts good. Very good, boys. Yeah, that was good. Thanks. Tell you what, that was... Uh, yeah, gold. Was, uh, your hairstyles, Matty. Your hair, the yeah. Yeah. You just look back. I know we yeah. do. And the sets, fresh oh, unbelievably oh, no. fresh. Will yeah. you go back to commentary, Heidi? Do you think you'll... <laughs> oh, you're very well, good. <laughs> good. I think Maybe. Peter Volandis <laughs> will insist upon it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, boys. This is where it gets... Yep, 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 yep. Yep. How did you get Gus on the show? I don't know. I had 20 years. Boss Panthers. Boilers night. Yeah, I know. Boilers night.